So hello, I'm Bruce Stevenson. Uh, Linda Piccinini is taking a mental health holiday today. Uh, we get asked a lot why Open Dental is better than other software. And there's lots and lots of reasons. And so I thought I would show you very quickly just one of the advantages here. Uh, this is PPO percentage, but also the changes in version 17, the current version of Open Dental. Uh, this made this even more attractive and useful. So as you set up your insurance companies, you want to, in I, my opinion, want to use PPO percentage. The other way you can do it is category percentage. All other software, to the best of my knowledge, uses only category percentage. With Open Dental, you have a choice. The difference is with category percentage, you post your actual fee from your fee schedule. So in this case, we're talking about a Delta plan. And your fee for a crown, your UCR fee may be $1,000, and your Delta PPO fee is $800. In category percentage, the way all other software does it, and the way Open Dental can do it, you will post the $800, the lower of the two fees. With PPO percentage, you will post the $1,000, but show a $200 write-off. So in other words, you have a way to compare very quickly and easily the difference between your UCR fee and the fee for the particular PPO you're dealing with. So in order to make this work, you got to make sure, then this is a long-standing feature of Open Dental. In order to make PPO percentage work, uh, you've got to mark it as PPO percentage, but you also have to make sure you have the right fee schedule. You always have to, regardless of what way you're doing it, you always have to make sure the fee schedules are correct. So the advantage of PPO percentage, and the reason we like it, is that you can show the patient how big a discount they get by having the treatment done in your office. If this were category percentage, these fees would be the fee schedule fees. They're not. These are the UCR fees. And then this is the difference. The discount is the difference between the UCR fee and the fee schedule fee. And it automatically calculates that for you. So you can say, OK, Donald Duck, uh, the total fee for the treatment is $19.95. Your insurance is going to pay $446. And you will save $580 by having the treatment done in our office, in other words, in network. Uh, and this is going to be your portion over here. So very nice way, if you're going to have to accept PPO fee schedules, and most offices do these days, you might as well make a little lemonade out of the lemons that you're given with those lower fee schedules. That, to me, is the advantage of the PPO percentage. Now, when you go to present your payment options to the patient, however you do it, this is just our payment option software, you take these numbers and put them in your spreadsheet or the software or however you're doing it. So what you give the patient, again, this is from our software, shows that discount right there. You just pulled that from Open Dental. So you can say to the patient, if you have the treatment done in our office, this is how much you save. So it's a pretty powerful feature. Okay, Again, you're making some lemonade uh, out of lemons. And you can have other options in here as well. But this is the point I'm trying to make. The problem is that on your day sheet for today, in the past, and with well, in the past, with Open Dental, if you're doing PPO percentage, you're going to show your UCR fees here. Uh, but the write-offs, the difference between the UCR and the fee schedule fees, don't show up on the day sheet until you actually post that insurance payment. Okay, This is what's new in Open Dental. So if you're doing PPO percentage, you're going to get an inflated amount on your day sheet for the amount you produce today. Your production is going to be inflated because it's going to show the UCR fees. As you uh, post more payments, it's going to be kind of a wash. The write-offs that will show up over here are from your insurance payments. When you actually post those insurance payments, that's when the write-off, in the past, that's when the write-off uh, got uh, placed on the day sheet. Okay, This is what's different now. You can do the write-offs now on the posting date rather than on the payment date. 
So your day sheet's going to be a little bit more accurate. Well, a lot more accurate. Look at the difference, okay? So same procedures, but when we do the write-off today on the posting date, you can see it's showing a $1,000 write-off there. That's the difference between the UCR fee and the PPO fee. So now, down here, you're going to show your true net production for the day. So this is kind of nice even for a single provider, but it's especially nice if you pay other dentists or hygienists based on production. I'll show you that in just a second. Now in order to make this work, this is what's new in version 17, you've got to go in here, and this is the old way to do it. You didn't have these options before, but the old way was to show the write-offs on the insurance payment date. This way, if you switch and say throw it on the procedure date, you're going to get that bottom day sheet I just showed you. You don't have to check this guy down here. That actually get, doesn't hurt anything to check it, but it gives you an extra column that you don't need. And again, the second thing in order to make this work is you have to create the insurance form. Until you create the insurance form, the write-offs won't show on your day sheet. You don't have to send it. Okay, You just have to create the form. So here we are. I showed you this one before. So let's say you've got an associate in here and the associate did this bridge, uh, and you don't want to pay the associate on the tr gross production, you want to pay him on the net production. Okay, so there is the calculation, that's the write-off, here's the net production. Okay, very slick. Same with hygiene, depending upon how you compensate hygienists, a lot of people have some sort of a bonus system based on production, and if you just did it on the net, or the gross production, you'd have an inflated fee. If you want to take off that write-off here, so this is the true net production for the hygienist. Okay. Again, it depends on how you compensate the hygienist. To me, in a modern dental office, it has to deal with a lot of PPO plans. This is a real big advantage. Uh, your numbers come out better, and now with this new update uh, where you can show the write-offs when you actually post the procedures, I don't see any reason not to use PPO percentage, to take the advantage that PPO uh, percentage offers when you're doing case presentations to patients.